Now to an on your side investigation. Scammers usually target bank accounts and legitimate organizations, but this week Safe Harbor Boys Academy in Jacksonville became the target of a donation scam. So scammers are making a nationwide appeal via email for donations in the name of Safe Harbor, but they're not related to the nonprofit group. So now the agency is warning you, do not give to unsolicited emails. Kid Amaro is on your side tonight. For nearly 40 years, Safe Harbor Home has helped kids with behavioral problems, teaching them about life at sea. But now the nonprofit is finding its good name being misused. Well, we received a call yesterday from um, a, a potential donor, and she was questioning um, the method by which we were asking for money. It was email. email. It seemed to be strictly email. Robbie Smith, founder of Safe Harbor Academy. I was horrified. Someone is sending out emails soliciting donations in Safe Harbor's name. It contains a sob story that the kids are in need. About these children in a boarding school that did not have toiletries, did not have food. And the email ends with, can you send money to me? And then keep it wrapped around the location. Nine boys are currently in the program. Smith says Safe Harbor does not send unsolicited emails to individuals asking for donations. We send newsletters via email, but we never contact a donor individually. In this case, the email was sent to a woman in Ohio. She was ready to donate $500 and instructed to send the money to a bank in Pennsylvania to help kids in Jacksonville. And that's when she decided to call Safe Harbor first. We understand that it's pretty widespread nationwide from the police officer that came yesterday. Smith doesn't know how many may have fallen victim to the scheme. There's a very simple takeaway here. If you receive an unsolicited request for money for any nonprofit, do your homework before you give. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.